When the sun goes down, the neon lights come on and Cairo comes out to play. There's no end of choices if you want a night out on the river. In Cairo, partying on the Nile is part of everyday life. My guide for the night is journalist Nada Barakat. She's lived in Cairo all her life and knows the best places on the river to visit. Nada, the atmosphere is unbelievable out here on the Nile. There are tons of boats with beautiful lights. We hear the music blaring. What do people do on a night out on the Nile? They take a boat, have some, some food on it. Sometimes they take their friends along, go but Many things, people have the birthdays, sometimes for people who cannot afford a, play, a hall for a wedding or something or a big venue, they just rent a small boat and they have the wedding on it. Apart from locals, I'm also I'm sure that the Nile is also very important in the tourism industry. It's very attractive to tourists definitely, as well. Definitely, definitely. It's a big spot for tourists, uh, especially those from Gulf countries and the Arab region. They come for it all the time and they love to rent boats and to take them for dinner. Actually, it tours a very long distance in Cairo. It can take you to half Cairo by the Nile. At its height, more than a million tourists came to Egypt each month, collectively spending more than $12 billion a year. This river, this nightlife, was one of the reasons they came. It's not always clear what people are celebrating. At times, it seems it's enough to be young, Egyptian, and on the river. Egyptians are active and lively by nature. They want everything to celebrate everything. They might just be like celebrating someone's passing an exam, or someone dating a new girl, or someone being engaged. We have all sorts of celebrations. We celebrate everything, every time. Neon-lit party boats like these navigate the Nile throughout the night, while boat restaurants line the riverside. Here, much of the menu is tailored for tourists. But what's the classic local dish? For that, you need to step away from the river. Would a cup of hummus cost? Okay. Yeah, how much is he saying? He said between five to ten. He said seven and a half pounds, but it's actually for five pounds or ten pounds. So it should be about less than a dollar for a cup. Definitely of one for seventy cents, and the other is for one dollar. And is it a major business for vendors? Is food really street a big food. business in Cairo? Street food is a real serious, serious kind of business for Egyptians. It's all over town. It's all over the, the country as well. Hummus soup is a great street snack, but nada has something more substantial in mind for dinner. This is El Rifai, one of the most popular restaurants in the city. The menu is very basic, but this place is really quiet. Its reputation for some of the best kebabs in Cairo is probably why. That's good. It's well mm. worth the wait. This place has also been really busy through the night. Mm. I understand that it's very much a place where not just the community, but people from all parts of Cairo exactly. come to. Exactly, and it gets busier and busier as the night gets in. After midnight, usually famous football players, uh, celebrities come over, and everyone can come for here because it's affordable, it's nice. As you, know, as you know, it serves very good kebabs. It's unlike any other place in Egypt. In one night, I've managed to pack just a few of the Nile's many attractions. But I've run out of time. As the rising sun calls time on the festivities. At least for now. <laughs>